Howdy folks, this week at Coffee and Tools, we have the giveaway. <laughs> yeah, the Verizon Hotspot. And I'm gonna include the cable and a uh, generic, probably, power supply for it. And we will get, as we get into the show, I'll give you more instructions on how you can uh, enter the contest to win this bad boy. Open to only the lower 48, of course, because it'll be free shipping right to your door, whoever, you, whoever the lucky person is. Meantime, let's get that show started. Uh, hey, this week at Coffee and Tools, doing a little welding, doing a little tractor repair. Well, here's the plan. I brought the uh, deck over and uh, did some grinding on the, clean that metal rust up. I'm gonna put a piece of steel plate across and tack it up like that, sort of half weld it in and then probably uh, bend it down a little bit and weld it right up into here someplace. But first, I'm just gonna go ahead and you know, probably just tack that right, right about there. And that way we can, uh, you know, just close up the, uh, the mess. <laughs> yeah, and that's not even the repair on this thing right now. Jeez. Well, now well, here's where I'm at. Uh, I've got that piece welded back on. It's kind of nasty, but I had some problem with the wire feed. Now I got the top off, and here's where the belt was missing. Yeah, isn't that lovely? Yep, Cup cubby. Now this is one of the few times where an adjustable wrench like this comes in handy to have kicking around the old workshop because you can grab onto stuff like this because this thing here is spring loaded. So the easiest way to deal with it is to use a big adjustable. You can take the tension off and check the spring and make sure that that spring is you know, doing its thing. Also is to check the pulley to make sure the bearing isn't gone or something like that. And uh, like I said, I. I said it before, I'll say it again. This uh, belt was 86 inches, half inch by 86 Kelvar. That seemed to fit this particular deck. The, I believe this is original uh, equipment with the Cuddy from 1984. It should be. No reason for it. There is a tag for a model number. I don't know if we'll be able to give you the uh, information off of it because it's so old. It says, it says Cub Cadet, and then after that, I can't read a darn thing. Yeah, it's long since gone, whatever it was. This is the, uh, this is just a uh, lid off the, the top that covered the area where you access, there's two belts. There's a belt that drives obviously the whole thing. And there's a belt off the motor that drives just the pulley here. So this pulley here actually has a belt running through the system, which I'm gonna show you here in a second anyways, but uh, when I took this off, I, I sanded it down and tried to paint it a little bit. Uh, I think we're going with uh, John Deere yellow because I'm not gonna, there's just no way I'm gonna try to fight and get the, uh, the, the cadet, uh, the Cub Cadet colors, especially in this question because this was originally white at uh, one time and now it, somebody had painted it uh, sort of an off tan, uh, almost an orangey yellow, and now I'm painting it yellow, and then this morning I was looking at it and thinking, you know, John Deere yellow would probably be just fine, even though it is a uh, Cub Cadet, but there's a big joke coming up with that anyway, so let's take a look over here and see how the deck is doing. Uh, at this time, <coughs> I had to re-weld this, this piece back on here because it was uh, breaking, and I also took the, the belt had broke, that's why this whole job started was a broken belt. And so I got a new belt from uh, Tractor Supply, it was about $20, not, not great, not bad. It's a Calvar belt, 
and this uh, wheel here is spring loaded and the spring is, is pretty soft so I'll, I put some oil on it and it seems to be getting stronger so that's good but uh, really I'm not fussy on some of this uh, wear and tear here with this particular one because this is uh, such a hassle to get in and out of this thing but I'm going to put some uh, uh, anti-seize on these threads before I reassemble this. I've also pumped grease in the three uh, pulleys here and I put some oil to soak down through this this one here even though it's the bearing and it seems to be I guess we'll say okay the bearing did not check out butter smooth I wish it was but it isn't and same with this uh, spring here I'm going to put some more oil in the spring yet and see if I can't get it to suck up some more oil because the spring's still good it still works but it just is very stiff and doesn't have a lot of tension left and I don't believe here look at this see I can actually move that back and forth with my hand a little bit and ideally that spring should be really just you know just pushing that piece out and uh, so again a little oil probably won't hurt and uh, then I'll see if I can clean this up some more and then I'm gonna put the lid on the other place I had to weld was uh, over here on this wheel we needed some welding and then of course uh, there's a video, uh, there's a clip here I'm going to show you where I welded a square piece of steel on top here where the deck was just, just rotting away. So I ground it out and welded it and just threw some paint on it for now. Again, you got to remember, it's 37 years old. I don't think it's worth uh, totally rebuilding or something because, because it's 37 years old. It's just, you know, you only get so much goody out of these decks. A lot of these decks are usually gone because the spindles are shot and a lot of times you can replace the spindles it's not that expensive i was prepared to replace the spindles but the spindles all checked out okay they greased up well they still feel good they, you know even this one here feel everything feels good so other than sharpening the blades i think we're just about ready to go back together but i'm going to just like i said wash this out a little bit and just see if i can't clean it up some more after doing <clears throat> after doing some digging i found an old box full of these. I think it's the right size. These are uh, 5 16 So, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, it looks pretty. Yep. Yeah. And like I said, Cubby will be proud. Yeah, little tiny means. Just a lazy man's way of putting that on in a hurry. There we go. All tightened up. Well, we ground up one, and uh, that's the, uh, yeah, doesn't look too bad, I guess. It's uh, pretty worn down. I think a new set of blades wouldn't hurt, but I think I'm just going to run with that for the season, at least, or try to see if I can get through this season with these blades again. Maybe next year we'll get new blades. I really don't know. These are... I would still like to just touch this even a little bit. There's a little, yeah, a little bit of rollover from years of wear and tear. Well, I guess that's it. It's time to get ready to flip her back. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, this is the fun part. There's a safe way to do this, I'm sure. I just don't know what that way is. Oh yeah. Uh, heavy, heavy piece. On track. Now we need a tractor.
Well, that tractor was a lot of work. But yeah, that tractor was a lot of work. Anyway, we got it on and it's running great. Let's get back to this. Okay, open to entrance and the all you have to do is uh, I'll provide the link in the description below, but I'll also put the link uh, up on this up on the screen so you guys can you know see it. But it's uh, coffee and tools yahoo.com and just send a name and an address. That's all we're asking. One entry per household and about one week and we'll draw for this and whoever wins it we will ship it right to your door and this bad boy is yours and it has a value of probably about 150 200 something like that so that's a nice little verizon uh whatever it is there yep there it is see yep 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 yeah verizon and uh hot spot if you're into rvs or anything like that this might be something you might actually enjoy or want so there you go and thank you for watching Coffee Tools. As always, please like, subscribe, and share. Yada, yada, yada. Adios.